It's time for another militaristically intense episode of the Hardcast. I'm your host, Chris, and today I'm joined by Victor. Putting the mustard in the cluster. And Steven. The man whose night is so Zeno. Tonight's review slash discussion is about the multi-platform first-person shooter Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, developed by Infinity Ward and published by Activision. This particular episode will be focused entirely on the single-player campaign, as well as the cooperative mode entitled Special Ops, or Spec Ops. There will be spoilers, so if you have not yet experienced the exciting thrill ride that is the single-player campaign, we recommend that you shut off this podcast and save it for a later date. You will not hear me say spoiler, so you have been warned. (laughs) There you go. Steven, did Modern Warfare 2 turn you into an ultimate badass capable of taking on whole armies almost single-handedly with your massive arsenal of advanced weaponry? Or did you walk away feeling like you had been stabbed in the back by your superior officer? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. It's funny you say that. Victor stabbed me quite a few times. And- <laughs> <laughs> so you're acknowledging that Victor is superior? No, yes, he's I not am. superior. <laughs> as far as RPG, yes. Oh, RPG is an enemy. Ah. So we're trying I've to took Chris a few times too. Yeah, no, he's a few stabbed. times. That's an understatement. <laughs> he's got to be Hispanic, man. He's got to stab someone. That's how I know you're in the game. I don't even need to check and see if you're in the party or if you invi- uh, you were invited. <laughs> if someone stabs me, I'm like, oh, hey, Victor. Hey, Victor. <laughs> and he has to pick you up as you're bleeding out. You know, he's, he's always stabbing somebody. <laughs> yeah, they have to pick you guys up. Of course, you pick us up so you can stab us again. Let's focus on the campaign. This story, That's nuts. I can't believe how Infinity War did it again. They broke every barrier and just completely revamped the whole game. Action parts, explosions, the banter, the talking, everything. The characters. Everything is so over the top now. If you remember way back when, I wasn't a Call of Duty guy until World at War, Zombies. Here I am now. <laughs> I picked it up to Modern Warfare 2 and whew, I got posters in my room. I've got a big cardboard cutout right next to my big screen TV. You know, the one that's not 16 by 9. Definitely, man. I'm a Call of Duty guy all the way now, man. It's, it's no way to deny it. Call Do you of sleep Duty with the cardboard cut out too? No, I leave it by the TV. <laughs> I got a poster to, to look at. The guy in the you know the desert mask. The big burly guy? <laughs> He's not burly. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, that's yeah. why you don't sleep with him. Okay. <laughs> God, <I'm> so gay. <laughs> The epicness of this game is just over the top from the very beginning. I still like the first Modern Warfare better. I would have to agree with that. <laughs> Let me just say this. The second one, yes, it's really epic. I really enjoyed it. It's badass, over the top, fun. Half the time, I felt like I was playing through a, a movie. movie. That's how good it felt. At the same time, all the missions were too short. I don't know. It's just like the whole, the overall I thought experience. that they kept jumping from character to character a little bit too much for my life. Yeah, that's another thing. I liked all the characters. They were all cool. And, of course, you got all the returning players from the first one, like uh, Soap, McTavish, Captain Price. Shepard. Ramirez. Yeah. Uh, Ramirez is back. He was there before. Wait, Ramirez was in the first one? I don't remember him no, being in the first I one. So. I remember Ramirez being called several times by the Foley was. Black General. Yeah, Foley called for Ramirez. I remember specifically. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, we can play and find out. I remember Ramirez. <laughs> but anyways. Whatever. The point is there's always a Ramirez around somewhere. Right. <laughs> That's they're, funny. Though. Yeah, they're, they're taking over. <laughs> Ramirez. He sounds Hispanic, Victor. One of your cousins. I guess. <laughs> Probably. As far as the story goes, this starts out with a tutorial. You, you know, stand. You just go through the shooting range drill, and you just got to beat a time, and it tells you what setting you should play on, I guess, is what it, it tells you. Yep. Depending on how fast you do the uh, the whole training sequence or whatever it tells you oh yeah you need to do hard because you did pretty good or whatever they had one of those that shit, like, uh, Call of Duty 4 right yep. yeah yeah they had that. it was easier in Call of Duty 4 because this one was beast it was pretty yeah. tough to get everything down packed but like you see one of the achievements do it in under what was it 35 seconds 30 or something seconds. once you do that as being you know swift with your moves don't reload because the shepherd yells at you basically he's like don't reload switch you're the gun you know it makes you feel like but you, you know, know what the only yeah. thing that's that's better than being swift with your moves is being Taylor Swift with your moves. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was pretty fun, though. I enjoyed trying to figure out how to do it and how to get my score over 
about 30 seconds. It's not too bad. Fishing. If you do on Spec Ops, it's, it's when you got two people, it's it's not that hard. Yeah, yeah on Spec Ops, it's also... I ended up using the 9mm gun and, uh, and a Desert Eagle, so no automatic weapons at all for me. The Desert Eagle of all guns, I don't know how... That thing <laughs> recoils so badly. Well, got Steven, to- you gotta learn to handle the gun, not let it handle you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I forget if on the leaderboards if you beat me, Victor. I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> got the you remember, you still, you still haven't beaten none of my scores from Shadow Complex. What? <laughs> <laughs> Besides that, back to Call of Duty. It'll give you a warning. This game is you pick something way higher than what your skill level is. You still want to continue. Then you click yes on Venom. It still tells you warning. This is a very difficult. <laughs> it tells you right there. Are you sure you want to continue? You're going yeah, to die. That was, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I was like, yes, I'm good. I'll be okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, but that was your second time around playing. For me, it was my first time. <laughs> Gotta give it wow. to Vic. Uh, veteran wasn't even that serious. I was so yeah, disappointing. So angry. I was ready for the next blowtorch and corkscrew, you know, some type of mission where it's downright impossible. We have to wait for some type of video or we just need to sit down together and figure it out. Blowtorch you know? and corkscrew. It sounds like sexual maneuvers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mission from World at War. It was fucking ridiculous on Veteran. What, it took you months? So to how how many other games are we going to talk about besides Modern Warfare 2? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's still Call of Duty. So you that stage, you, you end up as the Americans, and you're still in Afghanistan. Well, I have to say, like, it's kind of an on, on-rail segment where you're in the top of the Humvee with the minigun. Which is okay, I guess, to start out. But I- I'm not a huge fan of the on-rail stuff. It's a little bit too linear. I thought they could have did better for a first stage, but I already knew what yeah. to expect from Call of Duty, so I-, I had no problem with that stage. And Veteran is easy. It's cool because of that first stage, picking up the guns, the FAL, the fall, that gun. What is this? You know, you pick it up. Oh, it's a single fire. Interesting. Why would they put a single fire rifle in here? So they've got the Mini Uzi, of course, the M4A1, of course, all the different guns that are still in there regularly. M16 and the AK. I hate this. AK-47. <laughs> I hate that Well, gun. you never seen no one from your team carrying it. It's always the bad guys that drop it. Yeah, that's true. Because AK-47 sucks, man. I hate that. Everyone's it's not bad. It's powerful. That's about the only benefit, I guess. From there, it gets pretty good. And uh, the very next stage, I loved it so much. The contingency stage, the stage I liked was the snow one. Yeah, Probably. that was the one they were showing in all the trailers before it came out. So they made a big deal out of the whole ice climbing thing. Right. Because it was decent. I, I thought it was definitely different. Although I do feel that it was very simplistic. As an intro, I wish they put that as the first level because you start out right in the snow banks here on the middle of this cliff and you see so <laughs> he's smoking a cigarette, he throws it down the cliff, he looks at you, he's like, all right, man. Start climbing on the side of the cliff. He pulls out his pickaxes and he's like, stay here and spot me, you know, in this British accent. I was like, this game is fucking beast. I paused the game, just sat there for a second. I was like, oh, you know wow. What? He hasn't even killed anyone yet. He's just he's like, this game is beast. This game is nasty, dog. The, the graphics. <laughs> like, you're breathing. You see the character breathing a little breath of smoke, or, you know, stuff like that. Oh, the man. breath of smoke. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And he climbs, he climbs it, and then he, he jumps across the little so how many breath smokes out of five would you give that level? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a five because that stage was amazing. How did you like that stage, Vic? It was alright. I mean, I, think it, I didn't think it was nothing special, but I like the ending though, where riding on the jet skis. Yeah, that was kind of cool, exciting. Although my brother hated that level, he kept hitting the trees. So <laughs> uh, honestly, when I played it first time, I didn't even realize it was hard for anyone else. And then, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then I did it. And it was like, boom, and I got it. And my brother was like, what the fuck? I kept hitting all the trees. It took me like 10 tries. I'm like, whoa. Wow. Wow. Yeah, man. Some people... No good reflexes, I guess. I don't know. He's pretty good, usually. I think he just got unlucky. I mean, I did have issues on the Spec Ops missions on some of the... Yeah, on the Spec Ops, I hit the trees a couple times. But it's the same track. It's the same course, Mark. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of crazy. I just did this in the single player. First try, I got it perfect. And then I'm doing it here in the Spec Ops, and I'm hitting trees. I love that stage. Man. That, that was a great intro. I wish they put no, that... No, it was in. cool. I liked all the planes exploding and... and yeah, that was that cool. It was, it was very cinematic. Definitely. And Soap got caught. <laughs> Remember when they caught him yeah, in the garage? Yeah, that, that part I liked. Oh, when the I door opens like, up, yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh shit. And he's, yo, he switched to plan B. <laughs> the airport, I guess we can talk about next. No Russia, like the exact oh, next yeah, level. The, 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 con- the very controversial level. In the beginning of the game, when it's asked you, do you want to play this level or not, you can actually skip it. Of course, I don't know anyone who actually skipped it. I don't think so. <laughs> You get to kill innocent people. You're a terrorist this time. A lot of people that I, I heard about on podcast said that they did not shoot anyone except people who shot at them, which would be the cops, I guess. The SWAT yeah. Team, which I did shoot some people who were dying, put them out of their misery. Or I just shot <laughs> as many people as I can see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I did that the first time, but then I got killed because I shot my own terrorist buddies. So. Yes. <laughs> 
You betrayed him. He looks. He turns back. He's all red and then shit. Trying to kill him. <laughs> you can walk the whole thing without pulling a single trigger. He won't kill you for that. I notice small things at, at the end of the stage when you're fighting the police under the planes. If you don't progress, I just.